Hey, comic book fans, it's Comfire Nate here to talk about Arrow Season 4, Episode 2. Now, just before we get started, let you know that we will be spoiling, I will be spoiling this episode. Uh, my partner Rich is not here, he's still in Las Vegas, so I'm doing this one solo. Um, I will be spoiling this episode, and I can't help if some of this uh, comic knowledge that's inside here spills out on this show, so be prepared to be spoiled uh, might even spoil some stuff for the future, so just give you a heads up. All right, right off the bat, starting off. A uh, friend of the Queen's family, Jessica Davenport, has decided to run for mayor. Uh, obviously, they can't keep a mayor in because they keep getting killed, and everyone's scared to do it. So she decides to do it. Of course, we have Jerry Ryan playing Jessica Davenport. For those who are uh, Star Trek fans, Seven of Nine, uh, good to see her doing something. Um, so we have her playing uh, as Jessica Davenport. She runs for mayor, doesn't work out. Part of the story eventually leads to something else. Honestly, doesn't really matter. There's a lot more stuff in this episode to talk about. Um, one of the things I thought was interesting for comic book fans, if you notice when Felicity went to uh, the Palmer Tech, they introduced a man, Mr. Michael Holt. For some people might be like, well, who was that? Well, Michael Holt is an important character in the comic books. He does eventually become Mr. Terrific. So it's interesting that they have him starting to be in this. Um, I'm excited to see where they go with that. He's also another one of those kind of brilliant people, kind of like uh, kind of like Ray Palmer, who eventually uses that genius to turn himself into some type of a superhero. So we're not going to talk too much about Mr. Terrific, but excited to see him being a part of this crew now. Um, also, there was a few things. Uh, during the flashbacks, we kind of started to see that the purpose for putting Oliver back on the island was they want him to infiltrate this group of people there. It looks like some type of military. Um, they got like their own little like, uh, you know, almost looks like a heroin operation going on. They got people working in fields. Uh, pretty sure it's not heroin. Not sure what it is, um, but it's interesting. So we're going to find out more about that, hopefully. Um, a couple other things I thought that was pretty interesting. Um... Oliver's sister is having some serious side effects from the Lazarus Pit. Um, she's more aggressive. Uh, she can. She almost seems like she's, you know, enjoying what she's doing when she's fighting and hurting people. So uh, that's definitely an issue. It was a big thing throughout this episode. Uh, Oliver trying to, you know, talk to her, say, hey, what's going on? Uh, she pushing him away and then eventually realizes, yeah, you're right. Maybe I need to take a break. Well... Um, talking about the Lazarus Pit with Laurel immediately got her brain spinning and now she has decided that she is going to bring her sister back. And that was something we all kind of had a feeling was going to happen because you do see Sarah in the new uh, DC Legends of Tomorrow that comes out, uh, I believe, next year. So we do know that's going to happen. Um, so they just needed to get that story going. So that's what it looks like we're going to have uh, coming up here uh, soon. Maybe next episode. I'm not sure. Um, also, for people who are wondering, you know, where where do these bad guys keep coming up? You know, they keep, you know, just creating these bad guys. Well, these there's a lot of bad guys in the comic books. And this guy, Lonnie Machen, is a character known as Anarchy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anarchy. So... Anarchy is a bad guy for Batman, I believe, created back in 1989, something like that. So Anarchy is actually a character, again, someone that was pulled from the comics. Um, so they're not just come up with just random characters and they're just giving them names. So these are actually comic book characters. Uh, people who are fans of the show <clears throat> but might not know a little bit about other comics probably won't, wouldn't know that. Um, but, of course, they ended with a nice little anarchy symbol written on the uh, ambulance, which was kind of a pretty much lead that we're probably going to see this guy again at some point. So, with that being said, the big thing at the end was, of course, Sarah being dug up by Oliver's sister and Laurel. Looks like they're heading to uh, Nana Parbet to bring her back to life. And then we also have Oliver deciding that he is going to run for mayor. So that's going to lead to some interesting things. We obviously, all the mayors are getting killed. He decides that whoever's going to be mayor, who's going to run, needs to be able to take care of themselves. Who better to do it than Oliver Queen, a.k.a. the Green Arrow? 
So there was uh, there was a lot of interesting stuff in this issue. Nice little uh, little things for comic fans that are going to be excited about with Mister Terrific, uh, Anarchy, a couple other things like that added to the mix. Um, overall, thought it was a good episode. I'm looking forward to more of it. I feel like the season is getting back to maybe a little bit more of what they uh, did the first few seasons. I think a lot of people would agree the third season is probably the weakest. So I'm feeling pretty good about this season. I'm looking forward to where it goes. That's all we have to talk about this for this episode. If you want to read some more stuff about comics, if you want to read some more stuff about The Arrow, The Flash, Walking Dead, uh, many other comic books, check out our website at comfirecomics.com. You can follow me on Twitter at comfirenate. You can follow Rich at comfirerich. On Twitter, check us out on Google+, Facebook, Check out our YouTube channel. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. If you like our other videos, please subscribe to our channel. We're going to be putting up videos almost daily and all kinds of other exciting stuff for you guys. So other than that, have a good day. See you later.